Talking to a f***ing camera. <laughs> Alrighty folks. So, to start screen printing, we are going to need a screen. Um, way too cheap to buy a screen. So we're gonna make a screen. Start with garbage wood. As cheap as it gets. Then we clear ourselves a spot. We need working space. Perfect. Then you'll need a saw. Or you can cut it with your teeth. Let's get cutting. Sand the dowels, get a nice little corner on them so they can slip in easy once we have the holes made. Do you guys like videos like this showing how I do stuff for basically no money? If so, let me know down below. Leave a like if you like the video, and don't forget to follow on Instagram. That's where most of our stuff goes on. We got a lot of sanding to do, so we'll be right back when all this stuff's done. Alright, and so dowels are all cleaned up, nicely sanded around. Now we're gonna have to drill some holes into these pieces of woods, and they're gonna go like this half and half, and connect the corners with some glue make it bond together, get strong. It'll be tough enough. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, well, it got hot. Had to cool down. All this stuff is all marked up, ready to be drilled. Chose herself a drill bit, got her glue ready for drilling. We're gonna need to drill the half of the depth of this. So we're gonna need some tape. Just take a piece of tape and then you just line up half of it like that. And then we're just gonna say that's how deep we have to drill. You don't need measurements, that's overrated. Now we have to drill all these spots. Let's get drilling, boys and girls. It don't have to be perfect. It's art. Now we see if it fits. Ah, oh, you see, that's just Perfect. If 
You don't have to worry about it not being straight. Most of you guys aren't even straight anyways. Don't judge. Now look at that. We got a frame. Now we'll get set up, we'll lay some glue in those dowel holes, in the corners. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Ratchet straps. They will work magic on pretty much everything that you have to hold down. Or hold together. So, we go around. Uh, we don't have long enough. That's what she said. Then we hook it into the hook. I think it'll work. Now we loosen it up. Everything's so damn expensive nowadays, we don't really have a choice to recycle. Do what you can with what you have. You can build everything out of nothing if you really want to. The world once did, so why couldn't you? Now let's just lay some more glue. That's more like it. And then we hopefully squeeze this back in there. Now we have a frame, we have the glue in the frame. So we are just about done. Just give it a little wiggle. Let's squeeze it some more and see if it goes into place. So yeah, you're gonna ha wanna have like way too much glue everywhere. Make a big old mess out of it. And that, that just means it's perfect. And don't forget, put as much tension as you possibly can. Now you just Put it up somewhere that is going to be in the way later. Perfect. Get some glue all over my bike. Uh. That's it. That's a frame in the drawing. And some sticky fingers. And yeah. See you guys on the next step. So it's about 24 hours later. We're gonna see if the glue held enough. <laughs> Looking pretty good. My glue, my strap. We're good. So there we have it. A glued frame ready for sanding. You're gonna want to start with the roughest possible paper. I might go to a finer one. I don't know. Probably not. Alright, let's get to it. We got a lot of sanding to do, so uh, time lapse. Let's go.
dust storm and a little fun sanding. We now have one smooth side. If you can see here, there's no lip, no lip here, not much of a lip here, and no lip here again. So that's going to be our screen side. It's going to wrap around the edge here and we're going to stretch our screen all around it. So I'll see you guys in the next part of this video and we'll stretch a screen by hand. Uh, now is also a good time to get the dust out of your frame because once you lay the mesh on there, you don't want the dust to be clogging the holes in your mesh once you wash it. So have a little fun with a compressor or just like flap it in the wind or I don't know. Get creative, get the sawdust out of there so you have a clean screen once you stretch it off. Alright, so meshing the frame. So, here we have some screen or some mesh if you want to call it that. And uh, this is 160 mesh. So basically the mesh works by um, mesh count, which is counted by square inches. So this one in one square inch would have uh, 160 holes. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And the, the higher you go in numbers, the smaller the holes, so the less ink you put through your mesh when you squeege. So we picked 160 just oddballing it. I'm not actually a professional at this. I'm still learning and this is going to be an experiment so um, let's see how the 160 goes on all right so first step is going to be to cut out some screen don't worry if it gets dirty at first we're going to wash it after So you're going to want to leave like a good one or two inch edging around here so you can actually wrap it around, stretch it and staple it afterwards and that the extra can be cut off after. Alright, so we have our mesh cut. As you can see, we have a extra edge all around that we're going to wrap around and put tension on one staple at a time. Better get your fingers ready for this. Cramping in common. We have tension on this edge right here, and then we have tension on this edge right here and what we're gonna do now is just roll over the slip right here and staple these already tensioned edges down so then after that we can start working with the other sides to make the center tension if it's close enough it's good enough Now we do the other side. And now since we have up there all stapled up and down there all stapled up, now we can start pulling this way 
as you can see all the wrinkles disappear and we can start pulling this way so we're gonna lift up the frame here so we have a better grab at it just and we're gonna start putting our first line of tension on it so we have this edge is stapled up and the other edge facing us we are gonna pull in this straight line here and basically the trick here is just like to grab under it grab your mesh and then just roll it under you just pull under here all right back to the hat cam so you're gonna see as we go everything's gonna square up and straighten up and should turn out somewhat decent Oh, the hand cramps are real good now. All right, so camera died, but um, we got all the screen stapled, all tensioned, and I don't know if you can hear that. There's like a drum sound to it. That means there's plenty of tension on it for screen printing. We're gonna be fine with how it is. So, um, that's going to be enough for today because I don't want to make too long of videos, but, um, stick around, subscribe, like if you enjoy, and, uh, in the next one, we're going to do the trimming of the extras, preparing the screen, and, uh, we'll emulsionize it, and we'll burn, uh, we'll burn our logo into it, and thanks for watching.